Our next speaker works at one of Europe's most prestigious automakers. Um, she's a technical lead and big data, uh, on big data and data management and, uh, and a data lake squad leader. And uh, I asked our next presenter what her fun fact was and also um, in a cooking theme, um, our next speaker enjoys cooking and in fact her favorite dish to cook is couscous. So with that, I'd like to welcome to the stage Camelia Benchkaroon from Renault. Thank you, John. I'm excited to be here representing my colleagues working on Data Lake at Renault. For more than 120 years, passion has been driving Renault to innovate and work on automotive solutions that make mobility accessible, easy for customers all over the world. Through the Drive the Future plan at Renault, Renault concentra is concentrating on three main innovation priorities, electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and connected vehicles. So those are the key strategic innovations that are transforming our industry. <clears throat> and to achieve this, Renault is also leveraging the Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi synergies in order to easier innovate and leverage all the regulations issues. At Renault, we also believe that we have to deal with technological challenges, and that's why in the, in the Drive the Future plan, Renault is also doing investments in digitalization in all parts of the company, and also uh, in new talents recruitment and development skills. The data lake is one of the keys of the success of this digitalization transformation. And we believe that the power and the magic of data can be realized only when we make this data in the hands of decision makers. That's why, with my colleagues, we worked on building an open data platform accessible for data scientists and all data citizens in the company. Data Lake at Renault is breaking silos by collecting data from different sources and gathering the data on the common platform. So the business, for example, for a given vehicle can find important information about all the life cycle of this vehicle, information about how it was designed, built, shipped, sold, and how it is currently maintained. The first use case we had in the data leak at Renault uh, was related to quality claims, quality analysis. And the main idea was crossing warranty data from after-sales systems with uh, incident data in order to shorten the time to analyze root causes, also reduce the maintenance, uh, the budget maintenance, and also increase the customer satisfaction. In the few minutes I have, I will also share with you another use case under development. We are working on it, and it concerns the traceability of gearbox packaging. So at Renault, we are uh, producing the gearboxes in Romania and shipping those gearboxes to other plants for assembly. We are using specific packages to do that. One package cost is about 800 euros. And here we have the production volume. In 2016, about 400,000 euros wa was reinvested because of packaging loss. And this cost impact is very important for our business. So in order <clears throat> to uh, manage this uh, issue and reduce the cardboard costs, uh, we decided to start a POC, a pilot, by installing sensors in those packaging. And uh, so we have uh, about uh, 
2,500 uh, packages for the pilot. We installed those sensors. We called some tags in order to track uh, those packaging. And we used the LoRa technology in order to uh, collect the data. So this project combines actually three dimensions, the, uh, the Internet of Things dimension, the streaming data, and the data analytics at rest. Here you can see the architecture deployed for this pilot. So we collect the data from the sources using the IoT platform uh, with our partner, Obgenius. And then this data is transited through a data flow platform deployed in AWS, and then shipped and until the data lake in our data center. The data is mainly analyzed by Hadoop technology. So for managing data in motion, we are using HDF in the cloud and on-premise. And for managing data at rest, we are using HTTP. Here you can see some data visualization we have regarding tracking the flows of packaging, full packages, and also empty packages that should come back to Romania to be reused. We start also uh, doing some analytics to understand the time that, we, that the packages are spending uh, during the shipment in order to optimize better our production planning. So this uh, use case uh, it was the simplest one to share and uh, to be maybe uh, it's, it can be used not only for uh, <coughs> manufacturing use cases, but all the industries using uh, and having supply, uh, supply chain issues. And for us to continue supporting more use cases on the same platform and also uh, try to uh, empower more initiatives we adopt an iterative approach, so we are learning from our mistakes. We are doing mini tests, mini, uh, we are deploying solutions, and we try to have an evolving platform because anyway, the technology is evolving, and uh, every day we have new, new solutions to uh, better analyze data with better performances. Another thing important in the data lake uh, at Renault is the management of data, the organization of, of, of data and the, uh, the governance, and that's why uh, it's an, it was important for us to have a data governance team, uh, including the chief data officer, the data lake product owner, and all the data architects and data stewards in order to have a good organization, especially when dealing with personal data, as we've seen in the previous presentations. <clears throat> and the in the technological part, so as I said, we are using uh, Hortonworks technologies, but we are using also another solutions. Uh, the advantage of Hortonworks is having open source uh, solutions that can be and, uh, combined with other components, third part components, to have uh, all the capabilities that are required by the business. And the team working on the platform building, designing, and managing the platform is called the Data Lake Squad, working hard and very passionate, passionate about data and very creative that I want to thank from uh, this stage. Uh, so this was all I would like to share with you uh, regarding this session, the keynote. And thank you. Thank you for watching this and uh, listening to me.